Hey guys, it's Haley here again with Real Time Animal Rescue. After a super long day at work, I just wanted to come home and make something easy. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make taco stew. The first step, I know you guys have better things to do than watch me cut up onions and cry on camera. So I went ahead and chopped up two onions. Um, I used two because they're about to spoil, but if you just wanna use one, that's totally fine. And at this point, you could also add an additional protein if you want to. So if you wanted to use some meatless crumbles or any kind of meat substitute, go ahead and saute that with the onions. I let these go for about five minutes. This is a dump and go recipe, so everything is gonna be super quick, super easy. I've got three cans of, of uh, beans and chili sauce. I have one can of kidney beans and chili sauce and then two cans of mixed beans and chili sauce, but use whatever you like. I have a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies and a can of corn. So I'm just opening all this up. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the corn. You wanna drain the corn, that's the only thing you drain though in this recipe. Okay. So to your sauteed onions and optional protein if you'd like, add a can of drained corn. Make sure to get it all out. A can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. You can use mild or hot. And then three cans of beans and chili sauce. This is such a simple recipe and it comes together in absolutely no time, but it tastes like you spent hours making it. Last can of beans. It's a really cheap and easy meal. This will last quite a few days for me. And then one packet of taco seasoning. And it's really just that easy. Let it simmer on the stove for as long as you can stand it. Um, you know, it could be 20 minutes, but for me, it's going to be until I put all my groceries up and it will thin out. Um, I know it looks a little, you know, questionable right now, but it thins out, it cooks up, it simmers, and it is so good. I'll show you guys when it's done as well. And to top this, um, my mom, this, she actually taught me this recipe. She likes to line her bowl with tortilla chips and do sour cream, cheese, and green onions. I usually just do um, dairy-free sour cream, dairy-free cheese, green onions, but you could do black olives, jalapenos, tomatoes, lettuce. Make it your own and get creative. So I'm gonna put that on the stove. And while I have your attention, I wanted to share something with you guys that I learned not too long ago. So when you have these cans, um, think about like where they go after you trash them. Um, you know, maybe a raccoon smells the chili beans in here and he sticks his head in, but oh no, his head is stuck. And that's, you know, another way that we can minimize the footprint that we make on wildlife. And I don't have the upper body strength to smash the cans. So I pop them on the floor and with my house shoes on, I smash them until they're like about that thin. So nothing can get in and you know, they won't, the little animals won't have their heads stuck in the cans. And that's just, you know, I kept all my cans and that's just a really quick but important thing that we can do to be extra kind to our wildlife. I'll see you guys back here when it's time to plate. Just a quick follow up. This took me all of maybe 10 seconds to do. And you can see, you know, no raccoons, squirrels, mice, nothing can get their head in there. Like I can't even fit my finger in there. 
So just a couple extra seconds and extra compassion and you've made a difference for the day. So when you make this recipe, make sure that you also keep in mind our friends when using canned goods.